Businesses shut and people stay home across Myanmar in a silent protest at military rule. An attack on civilians has been condemned by the UN and the US. And for a closer look, Dr. Tui Tui Thien, a social professor at Curtin University, joins us now. Dr. Thien, what has today's strike, the silent strike, achieved? It has achieved in sending the message that Myanmar people are defying their military rule, taking back the country and doing what they want, not what the military wants them to do, and also to, to send the message within the country and outside the country to say that this Myanmar crisis is not over yet and it is nowhere near returning to normal. So this is to, to show this is still going. Dr. Then, the message is important for protesters, but the United Nations is also warning of escalating human rights violations in Myanmar. And we're looking at evidence perhaps of attacks that are getting more brazen than we've seen previously. Yes, the attacks are getting more and more. You know, that's the, 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 the most atrocious violence ever. You know, a, a recent weeks or so, recent days you, we've seen. So it shows the military is under pressure. So they are, they, they've been in the corner and uh, fighting back, uh, uh, you know, stepping up violence and um, uh, shows losing control. It's, it's, it's under intense pressure. Uh, Dr. Thin, uh, you mentioned before uh, my colleague spoke to you that uh, the people managed to, to deliver the message that they are taking back the country from the military regime. Well, they have not done so. They clearly are not doing so. And uh, this might explain the violence from the side of resistance groups. Explain that for us. Resistance group... They are resisting the military rule. They, um, it is a, a, a kind of fighting back, uh, a response to military's violence. So, um, and and the, this resistance movement is innovative, and um, you know largely done online on social media, and yet again shows they've been innovative and something the regime couldn't keep up, you know, couldn't uh, expect. So they have done flash mob uh, protest um, uh, today, silent, and um, yes, yeah, so a, a new things, you know, keep coming up. It's a new generation, you know, new technology. Um, perhaps the regime is 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 falling behind. Well, since the military takeover in February, Dr. Ten, the United States has been calling for the restoration of Myanmar's path to democracy. And now we have the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. He's going to visit Southeast Asia next week. Myanmar's going to be on the agenda there. But what can he truly bring to the table? So in, in recent time, uh, United States is, you know, stepping up it, its promotion of democratic values, you know, human rights. So I'm sure it will, uh, on the agenda, is to pressure the, um, uh, uh, you know, ASEAN leaders to be stronger, to be more effective in bringing about change in Myanmar to, you know, to, to, to stop the violence, you know, to release political prisoners and um, uh, to, to, to return to democracy. So that will be the, the, the quite an important agenda. And ASEAN leaders says this is a, as, a, as a case, a test case to show they can work together to show a united face in handling the Myanmar crisis and, you know, to be effective, it is to have outcome. It hasn't been uh, an outcome. Um, so I think it's, it's a test case to show they can do this. Well, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tuo Tien, the Associate Professor at Curtin University.